Vanessa, and today Governor Roy Cooper announced even more restrictions and more closings. This is we're talking businesses like hair salon, buy on regular clients, them afloat. CNC Charlotte Center sign spoke with a couple of the business owners to see how they're still. The new restrictions will likely impact how you get your next haircut or your nails done, but they will definitely have a financial impact for those who do the job. Top Coat Nail Salon at North Lake Mall won't be trimming nails anytime soon. This sucks. Instead, they're forced to cut their hours completely. It sucks to be a, 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 a new business. Um, to have people where their livelihood is, is, is in jeopardy. On Monday, new restrictions announced by North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper, ordering every gym, movie theater, hair, nail salon, and barber shop in the state to shut down by Wednesday at 5 p.m. I know that these actions cause hardship and heartache for a lot of people, but they're necessary to save lives. Topcoat co-owner Nathan Randall is worried about his 15 workers who will no longer have an income. Are there ways that we can help supplement, you know, something going forward, but then even still, how long does that last, right? We've seen restaurants and coffee shops being forced to change their business model to try to survive. Coffee delivery. Coffee now delivered to your front door, dining rooms empty, instead food cooked for pickup. But nail technicians, along with hairstylists, may find it a bit more difficult. No, it's against North Carolina State Board. Um, you know, anything has to be conducted at the salons. A virus continuing to impact our health and our small local businesses as well. The governor's new restrictions through his executive order will be in place for at least the next 30 days. But the business owners who I spoke with say what keeps them up at night is not knowing when exactly this will all be over. I'm Hunter Signs for WCNC Charlotte.